Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a short video showing you how to set um, a static IP address for your computer. Um, now basically what that means is um, your IP address is something that gets assigned to you by your router or modem um, or however your computer gets internet um, and that IP address is basically like the postal address of your house so that it knows um, basically who your computer is and where it is on the network. Um, so now for a number of reasons you might choose to want to set a static IP which means that IP will not change. Um, now this could be if you're running a server or a service of some kind um, that relies on knowing that IP address to send you information um, or to send out information um, and basically that IP address is changing then it can't do that because it won't know basically it'll be trying to send things to that IP address and you won't have that IP address anymore. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a static IP address so that that IP address changes the chain I'm um, sorry stays the same um, and doesn't change. So the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, bring up CMD and we're going to find out what our current IP address is. Um, so my current one is as you can see there 192.168.1.30 um, and so I'm going to be setting my static IP address to that IP address. Now basically um, you can set the IP address to whatever you want as long as it's within the IP range of your router. Now each router is different so I can't say what IP range but basically you'll be able to tell um, it'll be the same first three numbers and then these last three numbers um, are generally the ones that you can change. So I'll be setting it to 1.130 um, actually no I'll change it to something different to show you how it affects it so we're going to change that um, now one thing you need to make sure of before you do this is make sure that no other devices on the network have the IP address that you are going to use. So I'm going to be using just a random one that I'm pretty sure no other um, devices are using. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into it. So first thing you're going to want to do <coughs> is right click on your little um, network symbol down the bottom, whether it's Wi-Fi or Ethernet, either way it doesn't matter. Um, so you're going to right click on that and once you're in here you're going to hit the little blue writing that says the adapter name and then the name of the Wi-Fi network you're connected to. Once you're in there, then you can click Properties, and then as you can see, we get a list of different services and things, and we're going to double-click on the one that says um, Internet Protocol Version or IPv4. So we're going to hit that, and now we have the box to enter which IP address we want to use. So I'm going to put in 192.168.1.1, um, let's say 56, 56. Um, that shouldn't be used. Subnet mask, it'll automatically put it in when you do that. And then default gateway, you'll need to know this as well. Um, you can check this by doing IP config as well. Um, if I can type that. Um, as you can see, a default gateway 192.168.1.1. So we're going to hit that in there. Um, and then preferred DNS server. Now, this doesn't really matter too much. Either you can put in your default gateway. Um, I'm just going to use Google's DNS IP address, which is 8080-8080, um, and we'll just leave alternate DNS server, and then we'll hit validate settings upon exit. So we're going to hit OK, OK, um, and it might do this sometimes, um, it'll troubleshoot problems, um, but anyway, so yes, so if we go Google Chrome, now, now we can see whether the IP address changed, so um, as you can see, internet access is working, which is a good sign. Um, so we'll just clear this, and then we're going to do IP config again, if I can spell IP config. As you can see, my IP address is now 192.168.1.156. Now, this isn't going to change. Um, it'll reset the setting if, say, for example, I forget this Wi-Fi network and reconnect to it, or connect to a different Wi-Fi network, um, because it'll assign it to the network that you're currently connected to. Um, so if for some reason when you set the static IP address you have no internet access, um, either you've entered it wrong um, and it's not within the IP address range that your, your router assigns, or um, it's an IP address that's already taken by, the no by another device on the network. Um, it should usually come up, Windows will come up with a message, um, it does in Windows 7, I'm not too sure about Windows 10, but it will come up with a message if you have conflicting IP addresses between two different devices. Um, but yeah, so that should tell you. So basically the things that could differ on yours are the default gateway. You can check that by going into command prompt and the IPv4 address, which you can also check by going into command prompt. But yes, anyway guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.